our programs are effective. Yes, they are. They are. Tyler Liebert and his mom Sandy finish each other's sentences. They weren't always this close. It's free knowledge. Tyler is a recovering heroin addict. We've lived it, so I was that person. I never thought it would happen to us. Sandy says she ignored the warning signs. I was the parent that didn't want to go through the room. Give him his privacy. And I'll tell you why. I was scared what I was going to find. And then if I found something, I had to do something about it. And back then, I didn't know where to go. Tyler's addiction started in sixth grade. First, it was drinking. By eighth grade, prescription pills. In high school, heroin. If I'm under the influence or I'm wanting that high, I would try anything. And so I did. I tried. I started uh, trying Oxycontin. And then from there, you know, it, it hooked me right away. And then that became too expensive, so I switched to heroin. He became distant, angry, even violent. Sandy so says the there aren't many pictures that from that time. Hurt. I became Tyler's friend. And I thought that was the way to handle it. So um, I lost that power as a parent with Tyler. She hopes other parents won't make that same mistake. There were signs in his bedroom that maybe if I had picked up some of those signs, maybe we could have t deterred the path that we were going down. So together, one, two, three, four, five, six. They built a model bedroom inside the Heartland Fire Department. This isn't built by a book, it's built by experience with at least 60 warning signs of drug use. That little stand has at least five different signs. Five signs? Mm hmm Just on top of that shelf. Some are obvious. Like the High Times magazine is a sign. You might recognize pot magazines or shot glasses, but others are camouflaged. What looks like a battery, air freshener. Some of them are so subtle that it would literally, you know, you'd have to have seen it as a sign before for you to pick it up. Even ordinary stuffed animals could be hiding drugs. The wake up call room is meant really only for parents up these stairs. The group says they don't want to give kids any ideas on how to hide drugs in their room. The Centers for Disease Control reports someone who abuses alcohol is twice as likely to be addicted to heroin than someone who isn't. Opioid addicts are 40 times more likely. I'm Tyler. Uh, this is the Liebert family, I guess. The Lieberts know how lucky they are. Tyler says he knows 34 people who died from alcohol or drugs. This wasn't my life plan. This wasn't what I wanted to do with my life. Tyler has been sober for eight years now. He and his family speak to parents in a program called Stairway to Heroin, hoping to break the stigma of addiction. I'm the face of addiction. I'm a mother with a son that is an addict, but we're able to empower them to be that parent. The Liebert's presentations have changed how closely some of the schools in our area look for drugs. They're even teaching local police departments new ways kids are hiding them. Ben Wagner, WYSN 12 News.